The Power of a Paradox A Short Worship for the Week of 3 March 2024 The Upside Down Logic of God's Kingdom The Paradox From John chapter 12 verse 25 Those who love their life lose it and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. From 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. What does this mean? Confusing, isn't it? Paul was trying to help the early church understand the mystery of the cross. In Jesus' time, following a leader put to death by execution was a problem for Jews and Gentiles. So following Jesus went against scripture, logic, and common sense of the time. Logic at the time said, suffering was punishment for sin. Prosperity was the reward for obeying the law. Yet Paul presented the cross the place of Christ's suffering as a center of faith. Christ's death on the cross illustrated God's presence with those in the world who are oppressed and suffering. In other words, God was suffering with them. Therefore, suffering could no longer be seen as a clear sign of God's judgment. God was showing his power as different from other powers seen in the world. Instead, God's power was used for lifting the lowly, freeing them from guilt. God's power was used to stand in together with the suffering. The cross, a symbol of oppression and death, was now a symbol of God's power. Lenten Reflection on this Paradox We have reached the halfway point on our Lenten journey. We might be a bit weary from the paradox of this season, staying hopeful, yet anxious about where we are going. The paradox of Christianity is that God's power is revealed on the very cross intended to humiliate and oppress. Listen for God's still, small voice. Be filled with new energy as we steadfastly continue to travel with Jesus. Remain in hope. Experience God's power lifting you. God bless.